Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Honey Bunches. And I'm Mrs. Honey Bunches. Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Honey Bunches. And I'm Nikki. <laughs> Brian! You're right. Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Honey Bunches. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and we are cooking with the Honey Bunches. I'm a finance guy with barely any cooking experience. And I'm a registered dietitian with professional culinary training. And together, we're gonna teach you and me how to cook in the kitchen. What are we making today, Nikki? So we are making a Tuscan white bean skillet. This is a recipe that we found online that we did not even want to change. It tasted so good just the way it was. So we are gonna show you how to make this today. So we have our mise en place here, everything on the counter. Everything we need for this skillet. So the first and most important ingredient are the- The kale. <laughs> oh, the beans. Yes, the bean, yes, of course. Cannellini beans. This is a type of white bean. You can use two cans of cannellini beans drained if you'd like, but we actually made ours uh, from dried form. So if you wanna know how to make these, you can look at our how to cook black beans video, where it shows you exactly how to make beans from scratch. Beans are a great source of fiber and protein. So you see there's no meat on this counter. We're doing a vegetarian, actually vegan, recipe today. As offensive as that may seem, it was actually quite delicious. So don't run away from it just because there's no meat. If I, as I have learned, there's a lot of great flavor out there that can be enjoyed, even if meat isn't present. Definitely. So we have an onion we're gonna chop up, some garlic, tomatoes, some uh, spices. I'm uh, moving on to the sun-dried tomatoes. This brings a lot of flavor to this dish. You can find the sun-dried tomatoes in a jar, and either in the produce section of your grocery store or in the canned vegetable section. We have artichokes. We're gonna use a whole jar of artichoke hearts here. Really good flavor. This is actually one of Brian's favorite vegetables. Love artichokes. And it's full of fiber, so great way to help fill you up in this dish. And finally, we have our kale. Now, an easy way to remember what vitamins is, ech, that's ek. Vitamin A, C, and K, as well as calcium. So kale has a lot of good nutrients in it. It's good to get your vegetables any way you can. And when the kale is chopped up really small within this dish, you don't notice it because of all the flavors that come together. So we're gonna get some of these ingredients prepared so we can get cooking. So this dish not only looks amazing, but tastes just as good. It's filled with a lot of flavors from the artichokes, the sun-dried tomatoes, and the rest of the seasonings. This dish is not only a great appetizer, but it's a good main meal 
too that you can enjoy for Meatless Monday. And remember to get your daily dose of fiber with this dish because of all those white beans. I always like having a broom. <laughs> hey, thanks again for watching this video. Definitely try it and let us know what you think and let us know what other recipes you want to see from us. Like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications too.